Hello everyone, I am James and today let's try to solve the problem of this Philips DVD player. Maybe around 6 months ago I had uploaded a video on the this device, the same model, same device. And that time when I replaced the fan, the device was working fine, the DVD player was working fine. But after a few months it started giving the same problem again. That is, after switching on, after a few minutes and sometimes even after a few seconds it turns off by itself. So to solve this problem, this time I had to replace a component. So I request you to, if you wish to know which component is replaced and it's working fine, I request you to watch the video till the end without skipping it. So it's running now, <coughs> but it's down at improper intervals, sometimes 10 seconds, 10 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds, sometimes 1 minute, sometimes 10 minutes. Now you see it turned off, but even when I press the power key, it does not work. We need to replace this IC. For that first disconnect the power cable. I have already disconnected it. We need to replace this IC. So I need to remove these screws here. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And before that we need to disconnect all the connectors. Just gently remove them. See if they have been glued, if they are glued, then just remove the glue first and then pull them gently. Just here there is locks. You see there is lock here. Push that lock and pull the connector upwards. Same thing here also. Lock and here. Take a pre set screwdriver and remove all the screws. After removing the screws, just take out the PCB gently. Keep the unit aside. This is the old IC. This is the new IC I got from local market. I'll try to provide the link if it's available. To clean the legs of the IC because it's a bit, I think, old stock. Now we need to clean it. Now we'll fix it back and check all the key. Let me take the camera here. What? 
I don't see any display. Let me see if I know connect. Okay, I had not connected this connector properly, so there was no display. Let me connect it once again. So switch it on. I hope it is good. Now let me see how much time does it take. Okay, now the IC is not overheating. Earlier the IC was overheating. Now it's normal heat. So let me wait for half an hour and see if it works fine. So now you see it is first try 43 seconds. So let's wait for it. Now as you see, uh, CD player, the CD has played up to 11 tracks, 2 minutes, 22, 23 seconds, etc. It's coming on counting. So, and also this IT, IC, and also this IC is not overheating. Earlier the IC was too much overheating, so I replaced it. So it's not overheating, which means that the CD player is, DVD player is working fine now. Hope this video is going to be helpful for you in solving the automatic shutdown problem of your Philips DVD player. If this video was helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.